it gently. Release the sponge. Oh, release! Just, yeah. Just it gently? Yep. You alright? Yep. Where are you guys getting this from? We have a trailer. It's a miracle! Good. We're here today for the uh, sturgeon release, the first ever in the state of Ohio on Lake Erie with the lake sturgeon as a reintroduction effort in joint partnership with the Toledo Zoo, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and many other partners that have helped make this successful. Now I understand that uh, this will be a catch and release fishery uh, for years to come in Ohio. If we can't eat them and we can't mount them uh, uh, on the wall, why do we care? Well, we care because it's an opportunity to put back a species of wildlife that's native to the ecosystem and in the state of Ohio that's something that has disappeared. It's on the state endangered species list and we have an opportunity to put it back and have those populations grow. They're an indicator of improved water quality in the Maumee River system and Lake Erie because they're a clean water fish and they require clean water to spawn in. And this is just what we should be doing as human beings and as sportsmen and women that enjoy fishing and aquatic resources. And how long has this been in the planning? This has been in the planning for us really since 2006. I live in Schaumburg, Illinois. Um, we saw it actually on my husband and I on uh, it Twitter, or Facebook, one internet, and uh, thought it was a pretty cool experience. So, so you came all the way from Chicago to yeah. release this. Well, we came. Well, it was a combination. We actually came for the zoo too. So, and was it worth it? Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> Did you name your fish? Uh, yeah, I named him Little Group. And. What's the significance? Um, well, Little Groot is from, um, what's it? Oh, Guardian of the Galaxies. So I figured there was kind of like a guardian, so, you know. <laughs> you slowly tip your bucket over. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, Zippy. 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 Bye. Good job. Here for the sturgeon stocking in the Maumee River, a really great um, program, especially today. There's there are hundreds of people here that are standing in line and, and getting ready to tag their own uh, personal sturgeon, if you will. You can do that. The Toledo Zoo has set that up. And I think it's one of those things where, you know, you look at this, and, and we do collectively for fisheries managers throughout the Great Lakes, we do a lot of fantastic work to manage our fisheries, and a lot of that goes unnoticed by the general public. An event like this where, where the public is engaged and involved does so much to help the public understand uh, the importance of fisheries management, the importance of, of great habitat, and the importance and relevance of of really uh, structured and measured management to the Great Lakes. Rich, there seems to be uh, a lot of people here of all ages, and they all seem very excited to, uh, to actually release the sturgeon. Well, I think, you know, it's a pretty neat thing. They're releasing really what is a prehistoric fish, one that was in Lake Erie. Uh, historically, it is still in Lake Erie, but in very low numbers. So what we're doing collectively between the Toledo Zoo, the Department of Natural Resources, USGS, and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, all those partners are working together to restore the population of Lake Sturgeon in Lake Erie. And it looks like people are naming the fish. And will they be? Will people uh, be able to track the fish in the future, or what? What will come of the the, uh, the pit tags attached to each fish? Well, the pit tags and pit stands for passive integrative transponder. Each of those has a, a a signature that you can wave a wand over and figure out. Uh, if the fish indeed was part of this stocking program. So people are going to be able to follow those fish through time, whether or not they return to the lake in 20 years when they mature to spawn. So it's really kind of a neat thing to be able to follow those. And, you know, of course, there are 40 fish that, that actually have live uh, transponders in, in them that will be following throughout the lake uh, through time. 